right. Hello, everybody. Hopefully. We are live. Hopefully, this is working. Um, so, uh, I'm uh, I'm Jeff. She's Jen. We're Slowfest Games. Sam is not with us today because he's been having like power outage trouble all afternoon. So, I had to frantically set up the streaming software on my computer. So. Hey chat, we're gonna need your help. Can you hear us correctly? Can you see us correctly? Is this all working? Uh, please let us know. Um, uh, I see a few. Uh, I see a few familiar names in the chat. So if you can hear us, say so. If you well, if you can't hear us, say so. Um, in the meantime. Jen, let's um, just talk about nothing in particular because uh, because we're testing things and seeing if chat says we're we're doing stuff. So what's what's been going on? What have you been what have you been playing these days? Oh boy! Well, I finally put The Witcher Three to bed. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know if you care about spoilers for Witcher Three. I'll probably play it someday. Um, All right. Well, Noi says sound is fine. How's the video, Noi? You go on, Jen. Uh, Witcher 3 is just so incredibly time consuming uh, but <laughs> okay. I, I, I retired Geralt in a manner that, uh, that pleased me I definitely could have kept playing from a there were still quests to do and question marks on the map to go find okay. but uh, most of those question marks were in like water areas and, and uh, to heck with that I do not want to swim and boat everywhere in Skellige. <laughs> okay. So that's done. And uh, lately I've actually been playing a little indie game called Good Job. <laughs> it's actually called Good Job. Nice. It's called Good Job with an exclamation point. And the, uh, the pitch of the game is that you are the clumsy fail son of some company CEO. <laughs> And, and you are be being given busy work jobs and getting promoted from like the first floor of the company up and up and up. And it's this physics puzzle game where you are a clumsy fail son trying to do things <laughs> like, uh, like gather all of the workers onto an active package sorting floor. And yet you, you have to do that by like dragging them bodily by the chair. <laughs> okay. But sometimes there are there are gaps and you can't drag the chair over the gap, so you have to do other stuff. Uh it's it's even dumber than I'm describing it as. Um that sounds pretty cool actually. Yeah, like you can grab the power plugs from one thing and plug it into something <laughs> else. Or, or plug it hazardously across an area and people trip over it. And then once you've got the power plug across uh, a space in one of the rooms, you can drag something into it and then let go of it like it was a slingshot. <laughs> yeah. This sounds, this sounds silly. I need to get back into computer games. I've been playing like... Um, uh, well, this is a game on my phone that I've been playing for a while now, but also just mostly I've been playing chess, but I kind of am feeling the draw to just load up some silly Steam game that I haven't tried yet and, and, and go, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, welcome everybody. We are Slowfest Games. We've now given people a few minutes to show up because we didn't have the countdown today because that's all set up on Sam's computer and Sam's not here. Um, so thanks for the notes on, um... On sound and video, uh, yeah. So the video, um, my computer is really good, but my internet is eh. It's eh, it's okay. It has good down, but kind of um, kind of crappy up. And so streaming, yeah. We'll see how this works. Because it's just me and Jen today, uh, we're gonna just play some uh, two player with uh, with Otto. Um, who haven't I played in a while? I'm thinking of like maybe. Osric or Joran or somebody like that. Who, who are you hmm. playing? <clears throat> oh man, I have no idea yet. Uh... Red Dragon Inn, yes, Chris Hollywood. We uh, we are Slipfest Games. We make the Red Dragon Inn. Welcome and watch us play some Red Dragon Inn. Uh, also, 
chat, tell us, um, we have, we have these, uh, original, uh, wait, do we have the other auto factions as well? Yeah. Hey, chat, tell us, tell us which two auto factions you want us to use. Uh, remember, for those of you who don't know, auto is the automated third player that you can play in two-player games of the Red Dragon Inn. He has, uh, several factions, uh, the warrior, wizard, rogue, and cleric. Um, and then later in the smorgasbox, box, we added the bard, the uh, tinkerer, the paladin, and the witch doctor. So, uh, chat, which uh, which ones should we use? Okay, we got a whiz guild going over there. Whiz guild. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play Osric. I haven't played Osric in a long time. Osric. Here we go. And that's gonna keep me hopefully from playing whiz guild stupid. There's a snap point here I need to get rid of. Announcer voice. There was no way to stop Jen from playing stupid. <laughs> da, 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 da. There's some Osric. Uh, bard cleric. I'm seeing bard, I'm seeing cleric. Good, we're doing it. Bard. All right. Cleric. And. I don't know if I've ever played this combo. I like it. Let's find out. Bam. Let's, uh... We're just getting rid of all this other stuff. Over here on the side table. Okay, deleting it is also fine. Um, okay. Uh, all right, I need to get my actual deck. <clears throat> um, for the small number of people who don't know, Jen, tell us about Wizgill. Well, let's see here. Wizgill is a tinkerer. And some of her cards have gear icons. Let's let's draw myself a hand of seven cards that I will then immediately immolate and draw a different one. So here we go. I think I can salvage some gold from this old thing in the title of her card. You can see the little gears. So I would reveal something from the gear deck. Wow, that actually did what I expected it to do. And the card just takes effect, and it's not exciting or a good example at all. Minor malfunction. There we go. That's a good example. The card I play takes effect, but subtract one from numeric effects, and I'm a little sad. So that would make salvaging some gold add zero gold to my stash. <laughs> that is less than one gold. It is less than one gold, and we don't like it. No, sir. So... Um... So I apologize, chat. While she was doing this, I was I was putting up cards from my hand, forgetting that you can all see my hand and everything that I'm doing now. So, so yeah, uh, Osric, Osric the Adept. Um, uh, some of the cards in his deck have a an element symbol in the upper left here. Um, some of his cards have a better effect if I discard element cards along with them. So, for example, this card, it itself can be an Earth card to power up some other card, but also uh, when I play it, I can add, uh, actually I'm going to drag this out a little bit so you can see the whole thing. Um, uh, you can uh, add fire and water uh, to add more alcohol content. And actually, folks, just bear with me while I adjust the streaming settings just a shade. We there. Now you can actually see things when I mouse over them. Sorry about that, chat. <clears throat> okay. So so that's Osric. He has element cards and he has cards that can get powered up when you discard element cards. We are playing with the RDI 7 drink deck today because it's sort of a classic. It's sort of the Red Dragon in Drink All-Star deck. Um, and uh, who go, does Otto, does Otto go first? I don't think Otto goes first. Does, does Otto go first or do one of, does one of us go first? I don't remember. You know, I made the Otto how to play video, so I feel like I should remember this, but friends, I do not. Hold on just a moment. In the meantime, I'll, uh, oh, Noi says Otto goes first, and I think we can probably trust Noi. There's somebody cool. who needs to get booted from the chat. Um, Nightmare, okay. Nightmare Shade, hey, first time live. Heard. 
Uh, first time live watching. I was wondering if you guys are going to release another box like RDI Man. Five. I filled up, uh, filled mine up with drinks and sleeved all my cards. So uh, short answer, uh, probably not. Longer answer, um, the Smorgas Box Collector's Edition. When we did that, was a was an extra thing. Um, Jen, do we have any of those left? I don't remember. Uh, Smorgas Box Collector's Editions. We have we have sent every available one out. Okay. Uh, they are then, gone. Uh, so, so Nightmare Shade. The the short answer is um, probably not. We've done a couple of those now, uh, and the uh, the the market for more of them is starting to diminish. Um, uh, you should check out the Smorgas Box if you haven't already, because um, even the regular edition of the Smorgas Box is a uh, bigger box that has uh, room for more stuff. It, it is a uh, it's not as big as the RDI 5 box, but it's bigger than it needs to be for what comes in it. Uh, it's sort of a Battle for Greyport size box. I don't know if you know mm -hmm. that game. But um, uh, check out the Red Dragon and Smorgas box. It's a it's an overflow storage solution for folks like you who might need one. So. Yep. Uh, I think just eyeballing it by leaning over here. The Smorgas box, uh, just the regular retail edition, is probably like a just a little under half the size of an RDI 5 Trove, which also makes it a great travel box if you just want to take a bit of your collection of RDI out for a trip. Yep. When, you know, trips are a thing we do again soon, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, uh, Noi says auto goes first, and, and Noi, uh, Noi is we probably right. That Noi. So let's see here. So he... he uh... Action, the player with the least fortitude gains two fortitude and pays one gold to the inn. Uh, I believe that when Otto would make a choice, he opts not to choose. Uh, I think the least fortitude thing, not do this and show everybody my email. Nice. Good job. Uh, let's see here. Uh, definitely going to need, uh, yep. Hold on, I'm the, bringing up the, the rules rules. I wonder where I can put that do, 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 da, da. there we go not only has two phases blah, blah, blah both players take the effect when instructions specify a player such as yeah. the player with the most so that's what I thought that's, okay this is, this is a different kind of choice, and I'm kind of misconstruing the meaning of the rules clause. Sorry. Well, it's, it's not a choice. Right, exactly. It's not a choice. It's it's a tie. So we each so pay I already paid and lose. Oh, gain two fortitude. Great. Okay, so Otto is going to uh, did that, drink. and now he drinks. Because all he do is action and drink. So let's see here. What he got? Wine. He drinks it. Alcohol content affects both sides of auto. Yep. Oh, but first we have to reveal another card. See if he it. sometimes is it. Yes. Sometimes. Drink. Reduce the alcohol content of a drink by one. Glad I remembered. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then that goes to the discard. Okay, that's me. Um, I'm going to... Get rid of this. I'm gonna. That snap point isn't working right. That's gonna be. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this, which isn't great in a two player game. I don't need this one, I don't think. Uh, these are okay. Draw three. And. Um, can I do that? No, we're not doing that. We're just doing, hey, Whizgill, want some elemental ale with no buffs. Just pick another player, they gain two alcohol content. Oh, rude. Let's see here. That is just happening. Boop. Ta-da. Okay, um, I order... Three drinks. Um, any fancy gold? Nope. Just good old fashioned gold. One, 
two, three, to you. And then I drink this. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna just uh, take it. Two alcohol, no healing. Go ahead. All right. Let's see. Here. Da -da 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 -da. How's it going, chat? What's everybody? What's everybody doing these days? Got uh, got some old names. We got some new names. Welcome, everybody. We're playing Red Dragon in two players. Sam can't join us because he's had power outage problems all day. Yeah, I feel bad for Sam, and uh, I feel bad for Osric too because there's a breach in my Magic Flux containment field. Okay, um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna take two and I'm gonna I'm gonna punch you back uh, for two. Well, I'm gonna oh my, something triggered my auto defense mechanism. Uh, yep. If I can't reduce that fortitude loss by two, but first first. Oh, it just didn't work. We're very sorry. Please don't cry. Very sorry, please don't cry. What if I did though? <laughs> um, so then take two. I do. Okay. And then I order you a drink. Because <laughs> uh, of 54, hey, how are you keeping having caught live in a while? Uh, yeah, we're, we're live. Um, we're doing fine. Um, working on some stuff. Um, we'll drinking contest. Ooh, drink contest. We'll have, you know, an announcement real soon for you about new Red Dragon any things, but since half of you in the chat are already on the playtest group, you kind of already know what we're talking about, so, you know, expect a big announcement about that thing some of you already know about soon. Yeah, um, well, we are, we are tied. Going, no, no, we're not. No, we're not. Oh, yeah? Because I'm doing this. Hmm. For one, adding a little fire to the thing. You know what? Sure. Um, that means I win. You pay me a gold. Uh, yes, you take two. I give you a gold. Oh, wait, sorry. I have another copy of that. <laughs> Durr. Oh, you have two of those. Well, all right. The second one, I think I don't feel like. That's anymore. fine. You took my gold. Wait, did I, give, I gave you a gold, yes? Yes, you did. Okay, great. I take one alcohol and then hooray. Whoops, that goes here, and it is Otto's turn. Otto. Oops. Action. Otto recites an epically long poem. Each player, including Otto on both tracks, loses an alcohol content. Lol. Okay, Otto on both tracks, and us. And the bard. The bard says so. Okay. Then he drink. Then he drinks. No one's telling us we forgot to serve Otto. Oh, for the drinking contest. Well. Uh, doesn't Otto ignore events? I don't think so. No, I'm thinking of, sorry, I'm thinking of um, minions. So indeed yep. we did. Sorry, sorry, Noi. We don't, uh, Whiff. we don't play, we'll, uh... we don't play this. Um, we don't play this without Sam very much. Hey. We also don't play with Otto very much because we're we're well, rugged game designers who play <laughs> two player RDI. Play two player, just straight two player. It's uh, it's it's a very interesting game. You should try it sometime. Anyway, um, Otto takes a lot of booze. Uh, well, he's got a chance to react. To That's it. true. So let's see what what he do. Okay. Reduce the alcohol content of the drink by one. Okay, that's. That's three. Da, 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 da. That is my turn. These cards are good. Um, so we got PM questions for dungeon decorators. I'm not sure what that means. Yeah, we're PM for dungeon decorators. 
Chris Hollywood and Sam's available. How about all three? We see who's the better cook and three rocks out of Sam. Maybe, maybe that that might be yeah. might be interesting. Pledge manager. Um. So. Uh, oh oh yes, 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 yes. Sorry. Um. Pledge manager for dungeon decorators. So why isn't the Slurfest Twitch channel an option for where we heard it from? Oh, I thought I did include that. Um. Thanks, uh -oh. Mr. Draco. I'll go. I'll go check that out. Um. But yes, the so the dungeon decorators pledge manager open today for the for a few people. It will open for more probably tomorrow, assuming there's nothing uh, nothing wrong. Is uh, for those of you who back dungeon decorators, as you saw in the update, uh, backer kit lets you do this cool thing where you uh, do a smoke test and send your uh, survey out to only five percent, and so that you know if there's anything wrong. Um, like, you know, people getting charged the wrong amount for shipping or whatever, then you can fix it without it becoming a huge problem. So that's what we did today. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Tabletop has been great for playing with friends. We can't be physical as soon as we can. My big group, uh, game group are going to be with an RDI night. Yeah. If, uh, Heck yeah. When everybody gets uh, vaccinated, get, get in there and get in there and do that because that's, um, you know, fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm soon to become a very annoying person to my doctor because uh, I want it. <laughs> I'm ready. I feel like I'm going to be at the end of a lot of lines uh, here here in California. Uh, I have I tick none of the boxes of, you know, really like, yeah, same. Like needing anything. I'm, like, I don't, but the people I live with do, which... Well, maybe that'll get you in somehow? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't, gonna be real, I don't think that a lot of people making the criteria think about that outside of a caregiving environment. Yeah, that could be true. Uh, let's see, am I playing this? I don't know. Um, I think I am, I think I am not playing this. I think I'm not playing this. Therefore, I go straight to my drink, uh, my order drink phase, and do this, and do this, and do boring this because it's boring. That was a that was a turn. Go ahead. All right, here we go. Yeah, so so I I live with two people who are my age, but one of them has a history of bad asthma and the other has a history of blood clots, both of which are comorbid with, you know, severe reactions to contraction of COVID-19. So I I don't think anybody's thinking about that. Yeah. Not an elderly person in that case. Yep. <clears throat> but uh, how's the rollout going so far in Colorado? Because here in California, it's mm, a little honestly, bit. it's been going all right. Okay, good. I, I'm not going to say that I'm excited. Um, I honestly have not checked in recently to see like where the rate and the staging is, mm -hmm. but I should. All right, well, I'm going to do that thing. That thing. And gamble. Oh. Gamble time. Interesting. And then auto antes with gold from the inn. I I'm just going like to pretend this. that he's the brown player. Okay, great. Then auto does as follows. He gambles in. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass. All right. I'm gonna winning hand. Auto is gonna winning hand, which is illegal. So auto passes. I'm gonna wait. It was winning hand. I don't think mm -hmm. it was cheats. Really? Maybe. Well, he barely gambles at all. So, okay, okay. Um, Seems like he'd be a cheater. No, well, he has lots of ways to get out of gambling, but he, uh, okay. once once in it, he's, eh. 
Not very good. Um, the so best I'll, way to win a round of gambling is to light them on fire with elemental to, powers. To burn the cards. I pass. You win. <laughs> okay. The gold is mine. All right. So that's my action phase. And I order you a drink. And then I drink elven wine. Yep. This device can turn alcohol into gold. Watch. Da, 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 da. Flip the gear. Yep, let's find out what happens. Kaboom. Horrible calamity. You know what? Nice. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. I can fix that. Fix it. You can play another gear. You may reveal the next gear card and apply it instead. So I can opt to not reveal another gear card and just let my card resolve? Correct. I'm going to do that. And we, we always forget that rule because Sam's usually the one playing Wizgill and he's always like, I want to flip more gears! Wee! Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, so you so get I add gold to my stash. You get a gold. And I don't get drunker. Yes. Yeah, I don't have any way to stop you from doing that, unfortunately. I'm going to... Uh, how's my gold? Six gold? I mean... The wench would disapprove, but she's busy. Right. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna try. Oh man, this is gonna go badly. Maybe I just do this instead and power it up. This seems better than. Man. Okay. Here's what I'm doing. I'm gonna gain a fortitude. Okay. Anytime fortitude. Then I'm going to raw elemental boost with the fire upgrade. So my hand size is 9. Hot dog. I get rid of this one gambling card that I had. Uh, I keep these others and I draw 6. Did we skip auto? I think we, I think we skipped auto. Yeah, I think auto. we skipped auto. So Because I am spatially dyslexic, so I can't tell my right from my left. There, so, so auto actually does this. Auto gains, gains a fortitude. Of fortitude. Auto strikes. He can't. How useful for him. Then he drinks. What does he drink here? Nothing. Water. Come on, auto. So we accidentally skipped auto's turn, and it made no difference whatsoever. However... We'll try to be better about auto, because seriously, we're not very used to auto. So anyway, um, relatively vague ass. When designing characters, has there been one uh, more, or one or more that just started as a name or a single simple ability that you wanted to build around? Um, yep, Noi reminds us that auto reacts to the water. Thanks. Man, at first I thought that was like a cute in character. He's a robot, so he should react to water. <laughs> no, it's actually he I'm flips just being a card. Yeah. And again, nothing. So designing characters. Um, so actually a single ability or something that you wanted to build around. So so short answer is yes, that happens a lot. Um, longer answer is, um, so let's see. For example, Adonis, um, Sam had a, a, a character in some role-playing game somewhere along the way that was a, that he called his barbarian. Um, which is where, you know, Adonis's idea kind of came from. Uh, let's see. Oh, sorry, who, who else? Um, the... I can think of characters we can't talk about right now. <laughs> Patience, everybody. Um, uh, who else? Like, usually there's one seed that spawns a character, and it's often thematic, but it's occasionally... Um, mechanics instead. We we tend to um, we tend to try to design theme first. Uh, there's there's a whole wide range of debate within you know game design about whether you know mechanics first or theme first design is the way to go. We usually go theme first, mainly on the grounds that uh, if your theme is strong, it is uh, easier to find good mechanics to fit it than the other way around, usually. Not always. Um, in addition, if you're, if you're designing a game uh, and you 
inevitably, if you're a game designer, you're going to be working on something and you're going to get totally stuck um, and not really have a good way to go. If you design, when you design theme first, you can usually go back to first principles thematically, change up some mechanics, and, and maybe fix the problem. You sometimes can't do that if you designed mechanics first. Because if you get there and something doesn't work, you don't necessarily have a, a guiding principle to fall back on other than that mechanic. And therefore, if you do design mechanics first and the design doesn't work, oftentimes you have to just throw it away. Um, now, there are people who design theme first, there are people who design mechanics first. There are really, really, really good games that have been devised both ways. So, neither of these is right. We just happen to, with a game like this, since it's so flavorful and so worldly and so everything, we, we tend to try to do um, theme first. Well, there's, oh, look, while I, was, while I was giving my game design lecture, there's a whole lot of new uh, chat as well. Uh, Four-player version of tabletop simulator. Yes, there. This is a. This is one of the other mods that. Um, uh, Noi, whose mod is this? I don't remember. It's a. It's on I the. Think, it's on the workshop. Think, uh, are you sure? Because I thought Sam cobbled this together for us, but. No, no, no. This is somebody else. This is. Um, oh, okay. Uh, Nat, yeah, ah, this is. Yeah, this is Nat's mod. Uh, so, so yes, you can you can find this on the on the workshop as well as. Noise mod, which is the, the big, huge one. So, uh, let's see. Comments together. Uh, Murgath. Yeah, the, that, actually, Murgath, Murgath was a good one. And, of course, the conceit there was replace the, you know, cursed sword trope with the bad guy with a blessed sword. And it's, you know, and the rest. I still love that the, inversion. The rest kind of wrote itself, basically. That was one of the easier characters to design. We just had to we just had to balance the the biggest problem with Murgath's design was we had to find a spot where where Murgath the Murgath player wasn't too ticked off at having to give boons to people, and at the same time the other players weren't too ticked off that Murgath was, you know, punching them for four every time. <laughs> so Yeah. Uh, Top down force do top down design instead of bottom up. Is that is that what they call it now? I don't know. Um, the I, I don't really consider theme and mechanics to be the top and bottom of a design. I think there's a I think there's an inherent judgment call there about goodness and badness. But if that's what people are calling it, sure. Yeah, whatever whatever <laughs> gets them through meetings and more or less communicating if it Efficiently. And yes, uh, Magic the Gathering, so uh, t they do top down and bottom up. Yeah, I, I Magic is actually one that, um, so so I, I do have a couple of friends in, in either in Magic R&D or who have previously been in Magic R&D, and it tends to be a little more mechanics focused, except um, the design of Magic itself is uh, really useful in that the story team can do their thing and the mechanics team, you know, the actual R&D, like making the cards team, can do their thing. And they can act somewhat independently of each other. They, right, I think the way it often works is they talk about, you know, a world place they want to go. And then they pick out mechanics that will work for that. But in a lot of cases with magic, I think they look at mechanics that they just... That they've, that they've designed like two years ago but haven't found a home for it yet, right? Because they're constantly trying new stuff there. It's, yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. For, for my part, I'm really impressed that they can have this backlog of things that they've tinkered with and they're like, eh, I don't know where this fits in. But it, it ends up in a bucket somewhere. Yeah. For them to whip out and be like, wait a minute. Yeah. Here's a new thing. Yeah, and if you read if you read Mark Rosewater's blog, that that idea happens a lot in Magic mm -hmm. R&D. Oh, Jen froze yes. again. Yes. Uh, is there any character you guys really get him to roll up and do a voice? Um, <laughs> do, do a voice. Uh, let's see. I tend not to do that as much as some people do, but even even I will even I will do a little bit of you know acting when I'm playing GOG. So, 
Uh, by the way, I so I jumped Otto's turn and drew my nine card hand, but now I'm gonna actually play with my nine card hand. So yep. here we go. I'm gonna. Ooh, this is not bad. This is not bad. Yep. Okay. Um, we're gonna. Oz, we're gonna do lots of mean things to me. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a very mean thing for you. I'm just gonna this with a fire upgrade, so two fortitude. Hmm. All right then. Uh, ow. Ow. Uh, then this, and then I order one drink, and I drink and you drink, drink. Rough remedy. Game alcohol, and I can discard cards for fortitude, which actually is something <laughs> I might uh, do. Considering you have a plethora of cards. Well, the problem is they're really good. You have a, a clown car of cards. Chat, don't I'm tell. To think of <clears throat> alliterative things. Chat, don't tell her how good my hand is. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> uh oh, and I can only heal one anyway. Um. Blah, blah. Uh, I'm gonna actually, yeah, I'm gonna take the three, and I'm going to discard this gambling I'm in to heal one, and that might be a mistake, and chat might think that I'm a fool now. So, go! All right, let's see here. How would Otto deal with... With the rough remedy? Uh, he would just take three. Uh, if, yep. if an effect... Auto has no hand, so he cannot discard cards. Uh, if, if an effect would make him do so, he just doesn't. Yep. All right. Jen has a two-game winning streak. Pressure. Yeah, actually, actually, I'm getting. It's been a while since I've won one. So, so yes. Uh, <clears throat> Frozen Jen. Yeah, I'm so glad that I, I've so far not freezed with like, with like looking a, up uh, and like the camera's just <laughs> looking right up my nose or like my mouth is open at a dumb angle. Right. One eye is closed and you're... Oh, the uh, worst. Uh, <laughs> you're a combination of these bad factors. Torgal Snarf has to be voiced in my group. Mobster with his minions. Yeah, that's I, if you're gonna if you're gonna pick one, he's he's a good one because you know. Get some nice gold you uh, got there. You be know, a shame if something happened to it. Something were to uh, happen to it there. Uh, all right. Uh, dang. All right. Well, come on. Get there. We go. It's not supposed to do that, Oxrick. I'm I'm sorry. Well, maybe it's not supposed to do that. Ta -da! Hey, it really worked. I'm that not sure work. that uh, that the fiction created by this confluence of of not supposed to did what I expected it to do is uh, <laughs> that is right. That's necessarily positive that's, here. That's true, actually. On Wizgill's behalf, I'm gonna I'm gonna take two. Um, no, I'm gonna ignore. All right. Oh, doing Vlaslo with a voice. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Vlaslo. Vlaslo's a good one. All right. I drink fermented orc sweat, except not now fermented orc sweat. I need to recalibrate everything. Well, hang on. You know you can split this with me first, right? Oh, well. Yes, I do that because... You should totes do that. I should totes do that. Okay, you're going to split that with me, and then you're going to do this and this, and and there you go. Ha, lol. Well, there aren't numeric effects to the card, so... Oh, but I drink the top card of my drink me pile. That's, that's the part I was lolling. Oh, that's hilarious. All right. So, let's see what I get here. Elven wine with a chaser of... I don't wanna. Wow. You definitely don't wanna. So so not now. I still need to recalibrate everything. Well, you still need to gear everything and then we're gonna have some decisions happening here. Minor malfunction. Subtract one from the non numeric effects. Okay, I think I need to I don't think so that. Can the stream still see what 
Oh no, this is, we're now off the top of the screen. Okay, I'm gonna zoom up a little bit here. So she revealed this drink and then Black. All right. this well, and I don't think so did. The losing streak might be coming to an end, folks. Maybe, we'll see. Uh, oh, I still have to take half of this too, so. You sure do. Yeah, I'm gonna take this, I think, but again, Chat's gonna be like, what are you doing, Moro? So. And then auto goes. Auto goes. So let's see what auto's action is. Gambling, I'm in. Gambling. Auto's in control of the round. Um, Welp, there's that then. Here's auto's ante and here's mine. I pass. Hmm. Oops, I dropped my cards. Otto. Otto is down to his last card, so you're in good shape here. Uh-huh. Gambling, I'm in. Ugh. Uh, I pass. All right, well, these aren't my Omnisite goggles. Wow. <laughs> okay then. Nope. Wow. All right. You're you're out of that. You passed. Right. So once I pass and you pass because this didn't take effect, auto wins. The gold goes away, which you're probably fine with anyway, because I'm yeah. the one who needs gold. Basically fine. And then auto uh, after the gambling round is over. Yep. Auto reshuffles and then auto drinks. Uh, drinks round on the house. Oh, you man. jerk. You what do we got? Oh, get. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, that's an event? Yeah, that's an event. All right, well. Two. Um, I'm going to. What am I going to do here? Yeah, I'm going to just ignore this because it's starting to get later in the game. All right, I'm going to suck it up. There's that. There's that. Uh, there's that. And then it's my turn now. I keep these three cards, I draw four more, and I have an action this time, yay! Hmm, what's our favorite basic character that has no extra decks, etc.? Hmm. Oh, auto reacts to the drink, thanks, Noi! Yeah, and he, he also does. didn't make him drink his round on the house. Oh yeah, right, he, he has to take two as well. Yep, sometimes no effect, so... Thank you, Noi. I promise we'll never stop sucking at this game. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. So the um, uh, don't make promises characters. you can't keep. Favorite basic characters. I mean, actually, I kind of love playing Gurky because I love being that jerk, but uh, but not all the time. Favorite basic. Um, for me, I think it's probably Joran or Kronos. Mm. Favorite basic. God, I love Jasper. Jasper's pretty good, too. Jasper's good. Uh, who else is basic? Eve. Eve's good. Do you do you count someone like Adonis as basic? Probably not, because he doesn't have a side deck, but he does have bits, so... Probably yeah. not. Um, yeah, I'd say probably Kronos or Joran for me. Yeah. <clears throat> um, actually, depending on what you would count as basic, Osric. But I wouldn't count Osric as basic. Yeah. Uh, uh. I am going to play... I'm going to play... Questioning my powers with the water upgrade for two, four to two. All right, that sucks. Oh, block. There's that. There's that. I order you a drink. There's that. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da. I just take this, I think. Da -da -da -da. All right, then. Gad. Good. 
Come on, gas. Yeah, you haven't seen much of your... Well, you haven't seen your... I don't think so, but also not a lot of other stuff either. <clears throat> also, the Drake deck has decided to punch you in the Get face. The wench, Jeff. K. Well, all right then. Uh, I'm suddenly feeling extremely creative. Ah, yes. And I really, really needed that. Yep. Almost and forgot about that card. Another action card. Hmm. Honestly, oh, be I'm gonna punch Otto. I'm gonna tell Otto to keep his fingers away from the gears. Ah, okay. Strike one, and you lose a fortune. Oh. It still does what you need it to, though. Yep. So, Tang so on Otto, Otto passes out. Oh, that's right. Is that on your side? Pass out on my side. So you get I'm gonna two. choose to draw two cards. Mm -hmm. I could choose between drawing two cards or taking a gold from the inn. She definitely doesn't need more gold. I sure don't. Just thinking of Spike and Flower from Munchkin, which are very cute. Is there any other title or character you want to collaborate with? Um, how should we answer this? I mean, Our... there's a difference between want and conceivably could. There's, there's that issue. There's also the issue of um, our answer to that question differs enough from our customer's answer to that question that we probably won't do that again. We might. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's definitely a never say never kind of a thing. Uh, but um, let's just say that Munchkin was a polarizing product. <clears throat> uh, right, that was your action phase. Right. Uh, so I got that, and then I, hmm, cool. Then I order you a drink, and then I drink. <laughs> the drink deck doesn't like you today. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay. It, uh, it don't, but let's see here. But I can't right now. I must focus on these schematics. Meanwhile, I calculated loss and says, meanwhile, I love seeing Pookie and other IPs. Yeah, so we have no problem with doing stuff like that. And, and um, uh, so, so Pookie has appeared in several other games, such as Exceed from Level 99 games and um, uh, Cinder. Uh, Cinder. Yeah, Cinder yeah. by, by uh, Smirk and Dagger. Uh, and I think one other. That stuff is great. We, 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 we love doing that kind of stuff. And... Uh, and if anyone, if if people out there are being canon purists about this, then then you're missing the point. <laughs> so go go check out uh, other games that Pookie has appeared in. They're fun. Uh, that was your turn. So now it's Otto's turn. And Otto, player with the most gold, pays one gold to the end. Otto reminds you to tip the winch, Jen. Oh, fine. Auto. I was looking for my copy of Cinder, but I don't. I did. Okay. So yeah, the uh, Spike and Flower expansion for for RDI is good. It's good actually. It comes with Auto. It comes with a new drink deck. It comes with two funny characters and some some cool promos. Uh, uh, right, so Otto drinks this Halfling Stout, so on my side, Otto passes oh, but out. But he has to, whoop, yep, first. Yep, first, first. He react. First he does this. Actually, We're sometimes are in time, but ignores. Nope, yep. he takes the drink. Takes the drink, passes out on my side. Uh, I think, yeah, I'm going to get the gold. Gold, and then reset this, and then it's my turn. Um, let's see. <laughs> Hellcare says any candy can be hand waved with multiverse shenanigans if considered. Yeah, I mean, uh, our we we talked about this a little on on the um, 
on the stream before. Yes, there's a canon. We do stories. We have, you know, things in our head about the way the world works, but it's a, you know, it's a, it's a comedy game franchise, right? Of, of course, we kind of have to play a little fast and loose with, with the idea of canon, right? So, so yeah, it's, it's, it's whatever. It's a, it's a comedy, it's a comedy universe. So, get your characters into other IPs helps with exposure to RDI for those who may not heard of it. Um, you'd think that. I mean, I'm sure it is true a little. It is not true to the extent that we thought. Uh, but yeah, it, it, that happens. That happens a little. So, uh, anyway, I'm gonna discard. I'm gonna discard nothing. I'm gonna keep these five cards and draw two more. Uh oh. My hand is Note that to self, good. Jeff has at most two gambling cards in his hand. <laughs> All his other cards are good. Jen has. Jen has played with me enough to know all of these <laughs> Sam tricks that uh, if you watched our stream last week or the week before, you know that Sam or Sam and I are like leveling each other constantly in this game. So uh, Jen has Jen has has learned from uh, learned from my, from Sam. My winning streak uh, is, I think, entirely credible creditable to uh, not playing Sam and Jeff off of each other. <laughs> just letting us gouge at each other for a while but letting letting you guys gouge at each other also <laughs> i should say uh spoiling you both against the other yeah no, that's about you know? right. yeah i'm just gonna punch you for two and i'm just gonna probably keep punching you for two for the uh, foreseeable future hmm So I'm going to try to reduce it by two. Okay. If the gear deck allows me. Excellent result. You're going to reduce it by three, which doesn't I matter in this case. But uh, that's fine, gears. That'll do. That'll do. Gears. Uh, this goes here. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Table manipulation is a huge component to winning the game, especially. Yes. You can't see it because I'm frozen, but I'm nodding very, very much in agreement. Also, I just got coffee because the drink deck decides. Ugh. Hashtag drink deck decides. Oh, man. <laughs> Go ahead. Lordy. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so this stream is sort of working in the absence of Sam, yep. although the stream quality is meh. I think I can sell you some gold from this old thing. Yep. Oh, too there much. it is. I'm like, you, I was about to say you haven't gotten hardly anything that can ping other people. Yep. So, so I lose a fortitude. I hate it. Uh, Otto loses a fortitude. Oh, oh unless he doesn't. He does. He does. And he I, loses the fortitude on my side. Yep. I assume I also lose a fortitude. You sure do. I surely do. Um, I'm going to take a fortitude, and then I'm going to uh, punch you back for two. Before you even get to your action phase, so take that. But I'm going to try to Oh, yeah, that. that's, a, no, that's a good idea. Wait, wrong pile. That's yep. Trying. It's so laggy. Oh, that poor tankard. Patang. So I discard the top card of my drink me pile. It was a holy water. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag the drink take decides. Uh, uh, this card is negated. And now, finally, after like four cards each, it is now your action phase. Wow, really? <laughs> I mean, you... The, Holy hell. The first thing was an anytime, right? It was. Yeah, so you anytime so, ping me and I punch back from that. Lordy, all right. So my new gold attractor makes dungeon delving easier. Each other player pays me a gold. See if auto reacts. Uh, wait, gear first. Oh, right. Yoink. Sorry, loose gear. And uh, 
I choose auto to lose a fortitude. Wow. Okay. And then everybody pays. I mean, not auto. Osric. You both have Osric. Okay. So, right. So auto. Auto just uh, pays me a gold from the end. Pays a gold. Um, I pay you a gold and get detained. Um, Tip me. I have a wrench. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I'm going to, since that card now affects my fortitude, I can play this on it. All right. <clears throat> All right. Team that had a Lich. Hey, did you have any trouble balancing Lich King was insanely broken at 20 fortitude? He was never, ever intended to be at 20 fortitude. Like, like the 13 thing, right, it's, you know unlucky number, right? It was, he was, he was meant to be 13 right from the word go. So yeah, we there's no way we were starting him at twenty. Right. Oh yeah, so and you my sober drinking up. pals can't be so sober. Boo! Yeah, it feels good. Boo earns. Now Otto goes. And he starts around of gambling. Oh damn it, Otto! Okay, here's that. Here's Otto's ante. Here's mine. I'm gonna pass. All right, yeah, I'm going to probability calculator. I'm winning, I think, maybe. Gears don't fail me now. Oh, hey, I did the thing. Okay, so auto now plays. Pass. All uh, right. I also pass. It's all you. <clears throat> Jen has more gold. I have less gold. It's very sad. Mm -hmm. And then auto drinks. Oh, right, that was Otto's turn, right. Oh, he drinks a fairy ale with a chaser of Dwarven Fire Water. Dang. Let's see if he has a reaction up his sleeve for that. <clears throat> nope. Nope. He he sucks it up. He, he does not pass out on my side. But he passes out on mine. And then yep. immediately resets. Doink. And I'm going to draw two cards. Yeah, that's probably pretty good for you right now. So okay. Um, my only hope. Wait, keeping. Yeah, I'm keeping these. Uh, hmm. Okay. An ice storm. Uh, I think I'm gonna not add anything to that. Uh, uh -oh. No, I'm gonna not add anything to that. So everybody just pings for one. Uh, All right. Auto passes out on Ouch. my side, which gets me an emergency gold. Uh huh. I'm gonna percussive maintenance you. Yep. You... Oh, auto also needs to. Uh, yeah. Auto, yeah. Auto reacts to that and doesn't do anything. So, yay. So he does. Thanks, pass Auto, out. for covering for our failures. There's Noi. Good old Noi. Um, yep. I get punched back for two, and I'm going to. Uh, turn to stone in response to that. Uh -oh. hmm. I don't think so. Yeah, is the I don't think so. Um, yeah, that resolves. I take two. Um, I give you a drink. Still just one drink. I drink a drink. Two and cards. Yeah, I'm fine with two and cards. So I take two and draw two. Oh. And <laughs> hooray. Oh. <laughs> if you could design yeah. a character again, not because it's bad, because it was fun, who would you pick? Um don't quite understand the question. Like to redo design on somebody? Anything we answer there could be construed as we think so-and-so is bad, so I would prefer to decline to answer that question. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's... Like, what would I get from designing a character again? Like, the, the return to that fun experience of solving the game design problem? We or... do that all the time. <laughs> exactly. Like, <laughs> like, new characters always come to to be problems for us to solve. If you have a, I don't know, maybe there's a more specific version of that question, I don't know. Yeah. Because I said, new player used Ice Storm and powered it up. 
Yes. <laughs> hit a lot of enemies real fast, yes. That's the problem with those hit alls. Um, yep. They can they can do a lot of damage, but they can draw a lot of aggro. Which character you had fun designing? Um, um, let's see. For me, Adonis was a pretty good one. Um, Nitrell was a pretty fun one to design. Uh, who else? Uh, Dar. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Um, this was a fun. I mean, like I said earlier, Murgath was a really fun one to design because once you had the conceit, the rest kind of wrote itself. Yeah, I. Uh... I had fun laying down the the groundwork for Molly and then Sam probably had fun finishing her Molly. her up. Molly's a good one. Uh, otherwise Sh I can't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we'll, we'll answer more of these questions later. Nightmare Shade, can you play two hitback cards for your hand on the same target of Fortitude Loss? Yes. Yep. Alright, drawn cans in the card. Or drawn cards into my hand. Uh oh, Osric. Reach. Flux containment. Lose two fortitude. Um I think I Yep, I just take it. Alright, and then uh let's try out my new drink creation device. There it is. If it works. Alright, and uh Now Wizgills. Now Wizgills coming online. <sighs> So I take two additional drinks for free. Now Wizgill's coming online. Two a three. And now I drink. Mark Ale. Okie dokie. Happens. Um you know what? Then... Actually, I need to hmm. Are you trying no, to No 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 no, I'm not doing no, I'm not doing anything to it. I'm not doing anything. Okay, cool, cool. Then, uh, is that just one card? Yes. Auto does this. He whiffs his action. Wow. Okay, so then he shuffles. And then he drinks. The last drink from the drink me oh From boy. the drink deck. Okay. And then he drinks Wizards Brew. Which okay. he reacts to. Yep. Nope. Nope. So he gains two fortitude to alcohol content. Okay. We've got a lot Don't of questions wait. coming in. Can you retaliate against drink event cards as a barroom brawl from RDI 3? Um, no, because they're not coming from anybody. Uh, uh, they're, yeah, events, events are not coming from any player. Um, Kaze, taking the... Taking from that question, would you ever want to go back and update the art of the first few sets? Nothing wrong with the art of the newer characters and boxes is insanely good. Um, so we've gotten this question before on the stream. Uh, short answer is no. We're probably we're probably not going to do anything like that, and we probably wouldn't want to because for um, we feel like for every person who would be like, oh, this new art is really cool, there would also be people who were like, we like the old art. Why did you change it? F you. So... There's definitely a balance of interests between like people who already have and love the old stuff versus people who want to replace it or new customers. Yeah. So, and it, on top of that is the fact that some people are completionists, and and if we did something like that, then some of them would perceive that as us making them buy the game again. So. So we steer clear of stuff like that usually. So. Yeah. <clears throat> I think it's your turn. My you turn. Solved Otto's drinking. Uh, right. He he drank a right a wizard's brew. Um, and it was extremely good for him. Um, I guess tip the wench, even though it has no bearing on the game. So. Okay. Uh, we're gonna get whatever it of, takes to get it out of your hand, I suppose. We're gonna get rid of this and this. Um, we're keeping the rest. 
drawing three, um, we let's see now. Yeah, I just punch you for three. See if it works. Wait, that it doesn't, works? It works. Wow. I, have, I have nothing to help that along. I wasn't that. expecting that to work. And this, uh, you, you really turned this into a game. Once you got that second wind card, that Oof. was like, that was like, uh oh, now, now we're, now it's, now it's realsies. Yep. That and was, uh, good. yeah, if you didn't have a nice big hit in your hand, I was going to be like, you know what? It's, uh, I guess it's gambling time, yeah. guys. Yeah. I got to know. I had. Way. My deck were. I had an eye raise, but anybody watching in the chat probably realizes that I was not keeping it for gambling purposes, but rather for defensive purposes uh -huh. from elements in a mug. So, yeah, that's the game. Um, Osric squeaks it out against Wizgill. Hashtag drink deck decides. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah, it's, uh, it's not up to me, guys. We're gonna if we keep doing these streams, everybody will be like, "Oh, this game is just total luck fest. Oh, it's a, it's totally stupid." And, well, we still think it's fun, but you know, yeah, your mileage may vary. Um, two, <sighs> two and one. Oh yes, I, I, the, the, the losing streak is broken. So, um, so I'm mm -hmm. back, I'm back on the board. So, yep. So thanks. Any other chat? What else you got for us? Um, uh, other questions, comments. Ideas, things you want to yell at us about, uh, get, let us let us know <clears throat> while we put this stuff away and watch the chat for the last few the last few straggly questions. Look, we got a lot of people in here now. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Mostly a uh, a lot of a lot of old familiar names. And for those of you who are new, thank you, uh, thank you for joining us. Um, we're at Slowfest Games. Well, we're Part of Slugfest Games, Sam has had power outage problems today, so he didn't join us. Um, too much luck playing Terra Mystica next time. Yes, although I prefer Gaia Project to Terra Mystica. Uh, I've been playing a fair bit of Gaia Project lately, and it's a uh, for those of you who like super duper heavy Euroy stuff. In addition to things like Red Dragon Inn, check out Gaia Project. It's really good, but it's yeah, it's you know, it's a it's a several hours of your life kind of heavy Euro game. Um, What's your favorite card? Just made you laugh forever. Uh, Chris Hollywood likes floor gold. Um, let's see. <laughs> we came up with a card title just the other day for a card that's coming out soon that actually made us all laugh like more than a lot of cards recently have. So stay tuned for that one. Um, let's see. Of the ones, the funniest cards for me, um, floor, yeah, floor gold is a pretty good one. Uh, what else is good? The <laughs> the one with the one with Adonis like the one with the bigger art with Adonis like wailing out on his uh, on his on his line. Oh, yeah. That's that yeah, one's yeah. that one's pretty great. Is it shredding for the fans? Shredding for the fans, I think it's called. Yeah, that's that's mm -hmm. a good one. There's all sorts of that. We um, we talked about this on the stream before too. But uh, we we what we do is we get the concept for a character. We put together a deck. We start playtesting it. We have our Playtest team uh, playtest it as well. Then when it's it, then when it's at a place when we think it's pretty good, we uh, Jen and Sam and I start going through card by card and saying how do we make this card as funny as possible, right? We we give it a new name, we give it a new art description. How do we make this card awesome and we funny take an and angle flavorful. grinder to it? It's uh and 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 that is that's that's. That's the thing that really makes a Red Dragon in character a Red Dragon in character, in my opinion. So, anyway. Chavin says, I've this before on Kickstarter. Is there any way to make some of the earlier eroded cards available in a pack like Genevieve? Um, so, possible. Uh, it's not high on our list of priorities, but it's possible. The problem is, um, if we were to do that through, like, uh, drive through cards, the card stock wouldn't match. Um... Some people sleeve, but some people don't. So we, we've considered that, but it's not super high on the priority list. Um, do you ever play an auto game with one between each player or both way in a two-player game? Uh, no, auto is really just designed for the two-player thing. 
Um, I think there are people out there who have tried doing like, you know, a, a four player game with an auto between each one and it, it just, it doesn't work. The cards are, the cards are, the cards are ambiguous when you, uh, when you play that way. There are, there are things that actually just break and don't, don't work right. Uh, let's see. Relatively vague. Unmatched. Relatively vague. Thanks for, for making a wonderful game. Thank you for playing our supposedly, ostensibly wonderful game. Uh, we, we like it too. Uh, Evil Pookie and the alternative characters. Love the ideas there. Yeah, there was a lot of, there was a lot of uh, sort of, you know, humor passing on that. We, what we ended up doing for the Doppelganger deck in Evil Pookie is we designed ideas for, like, you know, nearly all of the characters in evil versions and then we pared it down to the list that we thought was the you know the the funniest most flavorful most interesting mechanically uh and and yeah so we ended up with a uh basically a list of the funniest from the brainstorming we did have you guys checked out unmatched not sure how you do uh non-slipless games but it's a light alternative on table simulator that might work for two players in this yeah. I don't know that game. Isn't so. Unmatched like the the cards in a box version of arguing about whether Spider-Man or Wolverine would win in a fight? Uh, I thought that was Super Fight. Oh, okay. But yeah, Unmatched, huh. no, we don't we don't know that one. Um while I one? while I the other so um our Twitch numbers tell us a very clear story, which <laughs> is that when we play RDI, people come and watch. And when we play anything other than RDI, people kind of don't care. So... Which is unfortunate, because otherwise I'd be like, let's play in human conditions. Right. There are definitely other things we want to play, and there, there's still going to be things we're going to play on this channel. You know, it's not going to be just the RDI channel forever, but we tend to, you know mostly stick with RDI because the because math don't lie. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Need the evil version of the Tavern Crew from RDI 6. Oh, that's, you know, one might say there's something in the works there. Anyway, we're not going to not gonna get too, uh, too into that. Um, Five marks and now you're right, you're strong. Well, RDI brings all the subs to the yard. Yes. And uh, they're like, uh, it's better than yours. Um, so, so yes, I think with that, that's a good place to stop it. Thank you for bringing all the subs to the yard uh, with our with our RDI, and uh, and thank you for being here. And we will see you again uh, next week, hopefully with uh, with Sam this time. And uh, yeah, thank you all for being here. Bye bye. Bye.